Hello, hello, YouTube fam. Welcome back to my channel, Charm Wisdom. My name is Anna, and I'm back with another pick a card for you guys today. So today's pick a card topic is in regards to why did you meet this person? Um, so I've been having this topic in my mind for a while. So maybe some of you guys have been asking, have been wondering, or just been meaning to find some answers in regards to certain people that might have um, came into your life uh, very quickly and left just as quickly. Uh, whether it be someone who came into your life and left a bigger impression or imprint in your life um this person could either still be in your life or not be in your life but however you want to see it or if you ch just wondering why did you met this person then this pick a card for is for you so in front of me have three piles pile one pile two pile three go ahead and pick the pile that you feel like is going to most resonate with you or that has the answers that you have been seeking um make sure to um pause the video if you need to connect with it the cards in front of you connect with your guides connect with your higher self and i'll see you guys at your pile all right, pile one, see if you pick pile one and this is your reading. So why did you meet this person? Uh, you might hear a lot of um, noise or uh, noise in my background. It's just I have my AC on. It is very hot right now in SoCal. So just bear with me. And I hope that, you know, you can hear me loud and clear so that this message just can be loud and clear for you. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel, go ahead and subscribe. Hit the notification bell um, and hit the like button. And if you already subscribed, thank you so much for being subscribed to my channel. Thank you so much for supporting me. And I am honestly very grateful to have you here with me. So let's dive right into your guys' sis. It's Right as I look at this cover, uh, I heard it's complicated. It's complicated. So whether this person you know this connection with this person was complicated because there's like a lot of math math thing here and it's just like even me i'm not a math mathematician person or i'm not a math person it's just like when, when it's like big numbers and it, to me is complicated like math is not good not for me but spirituality anything but you say that that's all me you know but again i feel like something here is complicated or, or is complicated so why did you meet this person pile one why did they meet this person spirit one so we have wonders okay this feels like like exploration like discovery with this wonders energy so it's like i feel like this person kind of helped kind of give you a bigger picture of something or help you see clear something here or help you connect to a different or that vision that you've been wondering to achieve or have been wanting to achieve this person could also brought some type of healing in your life but again with this like cloudiness in front of it, it's like it was complicated this connection could have been complicated so we have chicken this person could have chicken out or you could have chicken out that's funny that's funny but what does let's see what this chicken card is about because the chicken card is giving me energy of the person chicken out so let me look at the book real quick because i want to know what this card is about because i have not pulled this card the whole time i've had this deck and it's the first time i pull this card and yeah so this card means the the cackle ancient past lore so again there's something here there this either you this you had a past with this person or you know this person is ancient you know it's an ancient past already but again something about chicken out here so we have nurture one or the other was either afraid of nurturing this connection but again with this this path here that just goes separately and it's like you guys had to go your own separate way so i felt like in this um the time of meeting this person you guys kind of met up on this path whether it be with the person i feel like the, with ancient um ancient past as well this person could be a soulmate or this person could be you know someone from your past or you know this person could be uh, a chicken in the chinese astrology like myself i'm a monkey so this person could have could be a, a chinese zodiac sign in the chinese astrology but again i feel like um you guys kind of were in this path together and was just kind of unknown or just kind of happened or just kind of occurred and where your path kind of met up with each other but then it's like it was only short term or it was it was short term lived here and where then you guys had to go your separate ways here and i feel like this person brought a lot of nurturing or helped you nurture something about you 
help you nurture a certain passion, help you, help you uh, nurture a certain desire, a dream. Uh, but this person kind of came in here. Yeah, examine your integrity. I feel like this person kind of helped you. Yeah, like examine your integrity, like to see if if what you were doing or where, what the path that you were on to see if it was really for you. So this person brought this wondrous energy, like what? Like this person really made me think outside the box. Like this person really challenged me in a way. Like this person really challenged me to kind of come out of the norm, come out of this puppeteer type of energy, come out of the, you know, uh, not being afraid of being a trailblazer, coming out of the routine like type of energy maybe you were involved or doing things that weren't in you know aligned with your integrity and who you are maybe you were the person who always was hiding behind the curtains hiding behind you know the puppet hiding behind the screen hiding behind whatever it is and this person kind of helped you you know put yourself out there more this person could have also helped you you know come out of your shell come out of the facade you know allowing your your authentic self to come out especially with the number 11 so again helping and aligning yourself to something better so we have communication praise dishonesty yeah i feel like there could have been some maybe dishonesty and um in this connection maybe that's why you guys kind of went the separate ways whether someone was not being truly honest with you and whether the, the way they communicated or they didn't were honest with their emotions or weren't really honest with their emotions or with their intentions um this could have prevent this is could have been the reason why you guys you know went the separate ways or you know kind of yeah you know broke up if there's a, a romantic connection or it was a friendship or it's just someone who came in as a mentor um yeah but with this praise card i feel like you you kind of really praise this person or you really like this person or like you see this person like as maybe someone older than you because i'm especially here with the child and the mother here and and here this elderly like i'm just giving this i'm i'm giving this energy of you know maybe being older than you or you know being a teacher in your life or coming in to teach you a lesson okay so we have father sky trusted and the unknown how funny new supportive connections ghost lands yeah i feel like i feel like um there was either a new connection that either has came into your life now or it has been or it was a connection that you know came in and left again um i'm just picking up several scenarios here so just take what resonates and leave behind what doesn't for some of you guys it was a karmic connection for other you guys you know it was a lesson that you guys needed to learn or it's just this person kind of came and taught you something and helped you kind of move in a different direction or kind of help you kind of come out of this type of ghost lands energy for others i feel like again i feel like this person ghosted you i'm seeing a uh, 888 and there's also 88 so this could also be a person who you work with or um um did some type of work with or you know like there was some something here in, re in regards to work but again with this fathery type of energy i feel like Again, this person could have been older than you. This could also be a father figure in your life. Hold your vision. Fix moon. Rising. Two of Pentacles. Page of Cups. Yeah, I feel like this person came into your life and where maybe things were unbalanced, things were very, you know, um, out of touch is what I'm hearing. Maybe yourself were, uh, was out of touch with yourself. Maybe you, you were out of touch with your environment, with society or with your community. And I feel like you were struggling a little bit here. And I feel like this connection came in to teach you a lot about yourself, to teach you how to, you know, nurture yourself in order for you to be your authentic self. And in order for you to, you know, create that heaven on earth or in order for you to follow your dreams, in order for you to be open to new supportive connections in your life. And I feel like this person has taught you um, a lot where you were able to kind of bring some healing and bring some transformation around your connections. Because again, I feel like this this could have made you kind of close up a little. 
you know um and you're just being reminded to not close up okay um just to remain open because you are rising like i feel like it's just this person just came to help you rise from whatever rock bottom you were in or from whatever you know darkness you were in or from whatever uncertainty you were living out of or operating out of okay so this person kind of help you bring in more balance or it, or it could be the opposite this person made you feel so unbalanced you know and you know since then you might be working on raising yourself and coming out of this situation or out of this energy with the page of cups you know this card is giving me energy of taking the lesson with you taking the wisdom with you because the fish is you know whispering in the pages ears you know letting them know the wisdom letting them know hey you know this could have happened yes you know the wave could have knocked you down um yes you tripped over a little bit here <coughs> excuse me my mouth is getting dry i mean my throat so again, it's like that throat chakra energy and where maybe not not the whole truth was told here or, you know, maybe you were left with things left on your chest. But again, this is just energy of giving, you know, the fish is telling you, you know, hey, you know, remember the wisdom, but don't, you know, don't carry the pain with you. You know, it is just this energy of rebirth and rejuvenation, re regeneration here. And where you're learned so much from this connection from this person and it has allowed you to kind of mature more or see things more differently because i feel like maybe before you weren't open as you weren't open with your emotions a lot or it was hard, uh, hard, hard for you to open up to these emotions and i feel like this person could have showed you or just made you feel like you weren't different and where it was easy to kind of talk to this person or it was easy to kind of get things off your chest or it was easy to, or you felt seen by this person with hold your vision again i feel like this person kind of helped you came in and helped you kind of help you to redirect your focus because wherever you were focusing on wasn't helping you it wasn't growing anything with this ghost lands energy so it's like this person just came in to kind of push you in the right direction okay it pushed you to trust in yourself to trust in the unknown to trust in your talents skills your potentials you know just to trust in the decisions that you're planning to do trust in the decisions that you know that you had to do trusting the movements that you knew or know that you had to do in order for you to feel more balanced and with this new supportive connections i feel like you know if you're still dwelling if this person has left your life you know don't dwell so much i feel like there will be um someone else coming in in your life to kind of you know carry on the baton if that makes sense because uh, sometimes people you know come in in and out but again just to teach us certain valuable things and then until another one another person comes in and kind of carries that baton for in order for, to finish the race so i feel like there's someone else that will be coming in here with this new supportive connections or this person can, could just mean that this person is going to come back around and kind of you know in, in a more balanced place okay so this is what I have for my pile one. I hope it helped. I hope it resonated. Let me know if you have any questions or if this resonated down below. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Thank you so much for watching. All right, pile two. So if you pick pile two, then this is your reading. Just a quick FYI. Um, excuse the background noise. I do have my air on and because it's really hot in Seoul, Cal, where I'm located. So yeah, so I'm just trying to function out here in this heat. So if you pick pile two, then this is your reading. Um, so why did you meet this person in your life? I'm getting hangman energy with this pile. Whether this person, you know, maybe helped you switch realities meaning help you see life in a different eye or maybe help you see yourself in a different eye or different eyes whether this person kind of maybe maybe even turn your life upside down or could have felt upside down or maybe when this person left but let's see why did pile two so we have summer 
bask in joy and light so that you could have met this person in summer came across this person in summer uh, but this is also you know i feel like this person could have um brought a lot of joy a lot of light into your life because again like i was saying i feel like this person kind of made you see you know life or perspective something different here and just brought light and brought some sense of light and enlightenment into your life in order for you to see something different here because this is the queen bee and this is the queen bee of the colony so the queen bee understands that she is the important role she understands that without her the whole community the whole colony could not exist or could not survive without her so again this person could have brought this type of energy into your life and knowing hey you know the world needs you or hey you know your family needs you you know just brought some type of light and bringing meaning to you and to your life yeah assess clear thinking because i feel like you know you could be a person who's always in shambles or your mind is always in shambles um you have a very much chaotic mind and i feel like again this person just kind of lights up the um the energy for you or lights up the room for you or just allows you to act to have access to clear thinking because this person shines light on on the important things it kind of you know pushes away the clouds the things that makes things difficult to understand or to see or this person just helps you understand things in a better light and where maybe you know you don't have this around you or this you know this person just kind of helps you kind of roll up you know things up and make things clear for you so we have gaia's garden for each for fruition abundance reaping what you sow and that comes out with that summer energy excuse my uh my slip up on my words but you know english is not my first language so I, I when I channel I, I'm channeling too fast and sometimes I'd be saying words wrong and I'm just uh, you know so just bear with me so with Gaia's energy I feel like this person brought a lot of abundance again a lot of abundance into your life or this person is just very abundant of energy and happiness and just with light and just radiates this light Pile two, pile two. Magical map shifter. So we have the King of Cups. Let me just get the full picture here. Let me get some more. Okay, release. confidence yeah exactly i feel like this person is very much a a counselor very much a spiritual person very much a spiritual teacher or very spiritual themselves this person is very loving very caring very nurturing very um um in a sense of where they cheer you on uh, very much encouraging i feel like this person has the key or is very wise and where they're able to kind of again bring that in that light they're able to guide they're able to give you the answers that you need when you're seeking it gives you that sense of of peace a sense of like you know of release and we're like oh my god this person just is you know helped me so much or this person you know clear things up for me and where i could i'm able to release this burden that i'm feeling i'm able to release you know this um I don't, I don't, I don't never like to say, you know, negative emotions or negative, uh, em yeah, negative emotions because no emotion is really negative. Is there's, there, they all just come with the message. It's just how we interpret those messages. So I feel like this person just kind of helped you and release, you know, those self sabotage tendencies or maybe those self, um, you know, what is that word? help you release you know those insecurities in order for you to have more confidence in yourself and that you are the magician and that you are the creator of your own fruition and that you can reap your rewards by putting in the work by listening to your intuition because i feel like this person again with this you know compass in her heart pointing north is like this person kind of helps you follow your heart or this person, you know, follows their heart a lot and just kind of inspires you in a sense. 
transformation yeah this person has helped bring transformation into your life and again in order to remove maybe the mask or not being afraid of your shadows not being afraid of failure not being afraid of going after your desires or maybe you know letting you know hey you might be different you might be different you might be weird you might be uniquely you might be an aquarius libra um or gemini no i'm sorry i don't know why i'm saying air signs but maybe it is uh but you could be a scorpio cancer uh or pisces and where you're very sensitive or you have all these shadow emotions and i feel like this person helps you release them in order for you to have confidence again yeah joy joy here is twice i feel like this person brings a, brings in a lot of joy and, if, and for some reason if you haven't met this person i feel like you will meet this person but it's definitely i feel like some of you have met this person and i feel like i don't know why this is coming in right now but i feel like for others you have not met this person and i feel like this person is going to about to cross in your life because you're getting to release something especially if you're watching it now because again these readings are timeless okay they are timeless um so when you cross you know these videos is when you're meant to see it so i feel like some of you guys have been very busy the busy bee releasing things in your in the summer especially because right now we're in the summer so you've been working on releasing yourself um and clearing out the energy clearing out your um shadow aspects in order for you to kind of find your way to each other here and i feel like this person is going to bring a lot of joy into your life that this person is going to be coming into your life in a time where you're are reaping your rewards or for others again this person could have came in when you were in need of reaping your rewards again when you were in need of having access to your fountain of about abundance of self resource and realizing that you're your own fountain of abundance that abundance comes from within and that it starts with you so we have the world so we have success recognition here yeah i feel like this person helps recognize stuff about you that you don't recognize or don't have you know confidence in so we have the horse king yes assistance i feel like this person is came into your life to offer you the assistance yeah you see work through your fears new moon and scorpio a creative endeavor yeah definitely definitely i feel like a, um, a lot of you guys are going about to walk into a a cycle or start a cycle that is going to bring a lot of success a lot of you know fulfillment a lot of recognition here with the world but again this i feel like this person is going to be coming in at a time of your life or if they haven't came in yet you know i feel like this person again came into your life in this in summer or either in a in a sense in a place of life where you needed assistance okay so this person came into your life to offer you assistance to bring in that joy to bring in that grounding energy into your life because i'm also feeling a lot of earth energy here um again helping you kind of recapture life through a different eyes and see things from a different eyes maybe within yourself to having that confidence in with yourself to keep going to keep you know working on this creative endeavor to like this person is basically you know came in to be your cheerleader while you're going through this tough transformation and again in order to help you to work through your fears because again and i and it's funny that i said shadow energy here so we have um, Scorpio and then we have water signs. So I did say Scorpio. So this could, person could be a Scorpio, but it doesn't have to be. Okay, don't get confused or lost in the symbols and the signs here. I'm also picking up um, Capricorn a lot. I feel like this person you could have met in an event. I feel like some of you guys have been a lone wolf. And this is why this person is coming in or came into your life because you've been a lone wolf. And I feel like a lot of you guys are starting to call in your um, community, your soul family, especially with this house um, card here. But I'm de definitely feeling more inner fulfillment here. So this person came into your life to bring more fulfillment here. A lot of you guys are very creative. Again, a very creative are very... Um, uh, yeah very creative people like very magical people and it's like sometimes you guys doubt your own potential to um doubt your own skills so this person is coming in to help you 
build up that confidence okay and i keep saying this person is going to come in so again for some of you guys i feel like you guys haven't met this person and you guys will okay so i hope this resonates. i hope this helped let me know what you guys think don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll talk to you guys next time all right pile three so if you pick pile three then this is your reading so why did you meet this person so let's see i feel like there is need for growth here this person helped you you know grow and set yourself free from something i feel like this person could have came in to remind you to smell the flowers or this person always reminds you to slow down it's a yes okay either be you know if, if you were asking about this person and your answer is a yes or if i don't know whatever question that you might have you know your answer is a yes but again i feel like this person just came into your life to kind of just say yes to change to say yes to movement forward to say yes to a different reality a different timeline to taking that leap of faith and again setting yourself free from something listen to your guardian angel this person could feel like an angel in your life but again showing you something different showing you the light showing you the way why did they meet this person the ringmaster of scrutiny discernment clear vision details exactly vision details like i feel like this person yeah i was about to say intuition and the card just comes out intuition i feel like this person helped you connect more with your intuition well i just got a headache with just saying that and it's funny how we have eight nine ten again movement endings listening to your intuition i feel like that you could be um spiritually connected with this person um, or you guys connect um, intuitively on a different level. But we also have discernment here. So again, if you were asking your question here, I feel like your intuition has been sending you the answer, but you haven't been listening and your question and your answer is yes. Pile three, pile three, what did this person? Follow the voice of your soul. Angel Carter identity. Oh, Angela Carter. It's funny. And I said angel. And we have angel. Okay. So what's going on here? So planning and action. Deep freeze. Five of cups. Six of swords. Movement here. I feel like this person came into your life in a space or in a time or a situation in your life when things weren't really happening, when things weren't really moving. Maybe you're in a space of transformation and finding your identity, maybe finding out what you wanted in life. Uh, maybe you're spending some time, you know, going off grid, um, spending time, you know, finding out who you are. Again, finding, you know, your path, finding your own dharma, finding, you know, what is it really for you here and then there's a lot of things about intuition here and i feel like you met met this person for a sense of guidance in your life and a time where you don't know you don't again you didn't know what to do where to go or how i'm also getting a lot of 26 26 um angel number or 62 but there's definitely here movement again i feel like you met this person when there was movement or needed to movement needed to happen in your life and this person helped create movement in your life because maybe some of you guys weren't using your discernment or weren't listening to your intuition and didn't have the clear vision of something or of you or of your dharma of your path of your soul so it's like this person kind of helped you kind of find a bridge between the past and the new or old version of yourself into a new version of yourself. Get a, um, get um, away from a situation or from a, a lifestyle that wasn't for you. 
or this person again directed you in the right way to follow your north Gateway, confidence is your key to success, new moon and Leo. Yeah, like, like I'm just feeling like the sense of this person coming in to show you the way out of a darkness here or the weight of way out of depression, the weight out of, you know, a path or a job situation a person that you were just not content with and again there's something here with the bridge needing you know helping you build a bridge or helping you get out of a situation that it was hard for you to get out you could have met this person on vacation on a short, short trip Like that's mainly what I'm picking up here is that this just this person helped you find a way out of something. Okay. Because something here wasn't working out or wasn't happening here. And I feel like this person helped you come out of that situation or see it differently. Because I feel like you guys weren't listening to your angels or listening to your spiritual guides. So again, you guys weren't listening to your intuition. So it's like spirit said, okay, we need to we need to make something drastic or or do something drastic here. And the only way that we can do that is by bringing a tower moment, by bringing something you know that they weren't expecting. So they either sent someone your way, and then we have two lions here, so they could be a, a, a Leo, um, but they don't have to be. But again, I feel like, you know, spirit sent something here in order to show you something. Because you were stuck in this five of cups that you weren't seeing it. You weren't listening. Because you could have been stuck in grief. You could have been stuck in your emotions. You could have been stuck in confusion. You could have been stuck over in about the past. You could be stuck in very unhealthy habits. You could have been stuck on, on depression. You could have been stuck in, again, a situation that it was just triggering your identity or, or triggering an identity crisis or triggering something in your life where you felt like you had to sacrifice yourself or putting yourself in situations that was very sacrificial for yourself and your being and your spiritual being so it's like no we need to create we need to push her out of this situation and i said her so maybe you could be a female but or you know spirit would just say we need to push this person out of this so we need to plan and make action because this person is not doing it this person is literally in and you know frozen over this person is in not listening this person is this it's just still and it's not doing anything and it's just feeling hopeless or where you know if you're feeling a very hopeless situation here so that you know spirit said we, we gotta you know we gotta send them something or send them someone so i feel like this is why you met this person in your life and in order to find your way out of something find the door here with this gateway find a door out of the situation in order for you again to move away from whatever this is and this feels like a lot of south node type of energy so this is could be the reason why you met this person in your life okay so i hope this rested i hope this helped let me know if you have any questions concerns thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys next time